The month of October always used to mean the match play at Wentworth. For Mark O'Meara 15 years ago, it was the culmination of a spectacular season. The American won the 1998 Open Championship at Royal Birkdale, only a few months after claiming his first major title at Augusta. By then in his early 40s, O'Meara's close relationship with a young Tiger Woods was credited in part for this late flowering. The final of that year's World Match Play Championship came down to Tiger against his mentor. 41 years of age to have won the Masters, you know, to have won the Open Championship at Birkdale, and so to, to, to hold up the Claret Jug, to be the, you know, the green jacket holder, and then go to the World Match Play and play in 98, um, I just remember that uh, in the semifinals I was paired against uh, uh, Vijay Singh, and Vijay and I um, know each other well, I respect him very much, great player, and I beat him like 11 and 10 in the 36 hole match. It was one of the worst drummings in the history of, of the world match play. And then that got me into the finals, and it was just a matter of waiting to see who I was going to play in the finals. I believe the other semifinal match was Ian Wooslin against Tiger. And I believe Tiger either beat him one extra hole or something like that. And we had dinner that night because, you know, certainly everybody knows our relationship, how close we are. And I remember at dinner, Tiger mentioning, God, isn't this great? You know, two buddies, heads up tomorrow, you and I. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, this will be great, you know. And it's not like I haven't played a lot of golf with Tiger Woods. I mean, I've played a ton of golf with Tiger. You could give me this at home, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would make me put that at home? <laughs> I'll make sure. I'm going to remember that for next week. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself while he was talking, I kind of hope he doesn't beat me worse than I just beat VJ in 11 and 10. But uh, we got out there the next morning. Uh, through the, about the first six holes, he was four under par. And going off the seventh tee, you know, he had the head down, he had the fist pumping going. And I remember yelling at him like on seven or eight. And I said, hey, Tiger. And he's walking from him. He's what? And I said, slow down. Come here. He's like, what? And I said, just, just slow down. And he says, what, Mo? And I said, well, but I said, you see all those people walking along the side of the ropes there? And he's like, yeah, what about them? I said, well, they, you know, what about last night, Tiger, when we were talking about, you know, two buds, matches, I said, those people came out here to watch a show. Now, you're four under after six. You've got to slow down a little bit. Otherwise, this isn't going to be much of a show. And I said, you know, you're, you're not supposed to be beating your friend up like this this bad. And he looked at me and he says, well, I can fix that problem. And I said, really? How? And he says, play better. Just play better, Emo. I'm like, okay, whatever. So he took off. And I think I was four down through whatever. And I made a couple of rallies. And then in the afternoon, um, I started playing better and, and won some holes back and uh, we played number 11 and uh, we, we were even actually going to number 12 and I'm thinking, wow, here we are even, but there's one little problem. Three of the last seven holes are par fives. That's a big advantage for Tiger. And lo and behold, you know, I won a couple holes and I was one up on 18 and made the putt on 18 to secure the win. So it was a big moment, it was a great moment. Um, certainly I think he felt like if he was going to lose to anybody, you know, losing to me wasn't that big of a deal.